Okay, so in the previous video, um, we looked at a money market hedge for an uh, importer. So you can see the link there on the screen. Um, so it's the same example, but now we export. So we export goods to the value of 100,000 US dollars. And we are going to receive from this US customer $100,000 in three months' time. So even though we're going to receive it, so it's an in inflow of cash, we're still exposed to the fluctuations um, in the exchange rate. So currently the spot rand is 7 rand 50. Um, so if the rand strengthens, we're going to receive less. If it weakens, we're going to receive more. And we don't want to be exposed, so we're going to hedge. So this is the money market hedge. Okay, so what we have is an asset, that's the debtor or the customer. So we're going to receive 100,000 in three months time in United States, uh, in US dollars. So how do we hedge this? We have to create a liability of exactly 100,000 US dollars in three months time in the US. In order to do that, we borrow 99,009 dollars in the US now, so in time zero, so we create a liability and that will earn or that will incur interest for three months at the three percent. So we apportion it for three months and at the end of the three month period it will be a hundred thousand dollars. So then we can receive the hundred thousand dollars from the cust customer and pay that liability. So we borrow ninety nine thousand now. Then we take the 99,000 US dollars, convert it at spot rate today, and invest or deposit it in South Africa for seven, so that will be 742,000 Rand. So that's at the spot rate. So now this liability in the US is not exposed to the fluctuations in the exchange rate. And we've got an asset in South Africa that will earn interest at 12% for three months. So that's, calculation there and at the end of three month period we will have this asset that has grown to 764,000 so again this asset was not exposed to the fluctuations in the exchange rate it merely earned interest in South Africa so overall we weren't exposed because we converted at spot rate so the effective rate in the end will be the amount we will receive from our South African asset divided by the Transaction amount of 100,000 US dollars. So again, 7.6485 per dollar. So what will the cash flows be? Well, on transaction date, we'll obviously borrow in the US and invest in South Africa. Then we'll incur interest in the US, earn interest in South Africa. But at the end, then after three month period, our customer will pay us $100,000, which we'll use to settle our liability of $100,000 US dollars in the US. So it's just in and out. And in South Africa, we'll cash out our investment or deposit, and we'll sit with $764,851. So that's effectively what we earned um, on the initial transaction of goods export. 